up doing y'all how everybody doing um i'm shooting this video um solely because it's time all right um just get off of work about to go get a workout in but i've been meaning to do this day i put this on my schedule and it's simply because it's time um we shared a lot about the bible sharing a lot about questions about the bible sharing a lot about uh Things might people might not know about. Decided to share this because hey, now I mean this is one of the things that um um that I like to do and also just to make it uh, relevant to anybody. Um, am I qualified to do this? Yes, I have a minor in biblical studies. Uh, definitely been. I mean, uh, studying the Bible for a long time. I come from uh, a, a well-established Christian-based faith, Christian-based family. So what I'm going to share with y'all today is as simple as this, okay? And um, I'm going to share just the basic. First, before we um, get into the Bible, I'm just going to share the meaning of the word Bible. The Bible, uh, the Bible stands for. If you ever seen the acronyms, um, some of you guys don't know. Some of you guys know. Um, now I mean, the Bible. Some people say it stands for basic instructions before leaving Earth. Um, um, so today I just want to tackle the two, what I call the two complementary depositions before we even get deep into the Bible, before we even open up topics. I want to talk about two comp complementary uh, dispositions, what I call it. And what I mean by that is in life, in the world, in the universe, whatever you want to call it, there are um, there are always is always a two way go is one form of energy goes goes this way and another form of energy goes that way or it's two things that are completely opposite that goes together if you guys can um understand so what i'm talking about is let's go we have up for example we have up and we have down we have left and we have right we have hot we have cold we have uh big we have small we have right, we have wrong, we have the truth, we have the lie. You can go on and find these two complementary dispositions, okay? Um, now, I mean, they complement each other, but they are completely opposite. But without one, the other one really, the, they, they both predicate on each other existence. The other one wouldn't be there if the other one wasn't established. So they feed off of each other in a sense, um, so that's the unique thing about it. So keep going. And we have, uh, just to keep going, we have good, we have evil, and now getting into it, we have God and we have the devil. Okay. So evil. don't go further. We have hell or you have heaven and we have hell. So, you know, two complementary dispositions, two things that's opposite of each other, but coexist because of each other as well and um when we dive into um this when we dive into this i understand that everybody might not be um christian everybody not might might not be a believer um everybody might not be rooted on the faith why am i sharing this i'm sharing this because this may be able to help somebody um i know this book change can change people and it changed myself in a lot of different ways and it still is changing so change don't happen overnight change is a process and this uh the bible can lead you through a process of being able to change um and going through changes that you never even through but not through your own strength uh through the power of god so with that being said uh i'm sharing this because uh for those of those people that may not believe in anything, for those people that may be curious about the Bible and those, those people that might be soul searching, I'm sharing this for y'all. If you are not a believer or you don't believe or anything, then absolutely this channel or, you know, it might not be for you. It might not be, you might not find this helpful, you for informational. But if you, but if you are a believer, then you will find a lot of this stuff fascinating just as well it might change your life just the way it changed mine um, and the life. bible will give you peace it will give you understanding so even with all this chaos and stuff that we're going through today you will find peace people in life we try and we tend to try to control everything on our own 
We go to work, we make our money. We try to plan different parts of our life to be a certain way. And sometimes that might not always be the case. Um, but when you understand that we are not, we are in control into certain degree of life. We are, we do have free will and we are in control of to a certain degree, but there's the things in life that are uncontrollable. And, and, and I always say this, sometimes life can be very, very unpredictable and life is unpredictable. That's why when we wake up the next day, we never know what's going to happen. There's two things for certain. Okay. There's life and there's death. You have a born date. And you have a death date. Complementary dispositions. Two things that exist and that predicate off of each other uh, existence. But at the same time, the question is, we have to figure out where, what happens and what will happen to us when we die. Um, the fact is, God and the devil had a relationship that um, was a close relationship. Um, and it ended up in a different type of manner. So, make a long story short, how does that fall into play with our lives? That's the question I'm going to answer you. Because God and the devil are actually in competition, are competing, as you would say, over us. It's like being in, you ever see parents that get divorced in a way? Uh, kids in the middle of a relationship. We are the children in the relationship. In the Bible, it actually uh, uh, reference us as being child of God. Um, we are the we are in the middle of this maybe this endless beef. This uh, the, this grudge. We are in the middle, in between something that part take a long time ago before we even exist. And we are stuck in the middle of this endless few beef competition between God and the devil. So if you can wrap your mind about that, around that, then we will get somewhere. Okay? I could be able to open up the Bible and start sharing more to you. Um, I will be sharing a lot. But just remember that that's the beginning. Um, we are stuck in this, in this endless battle between God and the devil. And we have to make decisions um we have to make a decision on what side we on and you can't change overnight um god don't want you to be perfect um but it's some things that the, the biggest thing is deciding um and you know some people we wake up every day sometimes we don't even acknowledge god we don't we think we got everything done on our own and that's not the case you get to a point where you realize some people are still, whether you become successful, make a lot of money, or you poor and you struggle your life, it comes to a point where will you find peace at any of them points? Because there's people that made a lot of money and that were successful that didn't find peace. And there's people that struggled and was poor that actually did find peace. Um, So I'm going to share this scripture talking about the peace of God. Um, and Some people is hard because guess what? While we going through all this trial and tribulation, you're trying to have peace. Some people that are trying to believe. The thing is, how do I believe in the middle of all this turmoil? How can you believe in something or somebody that you never ever seen? Which is a good question, but at the same time, let me tell you something. I posted this before. You don't always you we can't see God, but just because you can't see, don't mean you can't experience. Blind people can't see either, but they can hear you. Okay, they can feel you. And just because you can't see God don't mean you can't experience God is a difference. And not me. So that's one thing that we have to understand. Um, but it also comes with searching for God. And I'm going to teach us how to reach out to God, how to search for God. Um, but before we even get to them stages, um, there's a lot of other things I'm going to share with you guys. So the question is, why is God relevant? What's the purpose of even worshiping God? 
what the purpose of all this? Okay. Well, in the Bible, have you noticed the reason why people prayed to God wasn't only the poor, the oppressed, but God made, God makes, he always made the impossible possible. But yeah, um, so in the Bible, God always, when you study the Bible, God always made the impossible possible. He always made the impossible possible. The question is, like I said, everybody, regardless of what happens in life, we will die. That's a promise. Death is a promise. We all have an expiration date. The thing is, where are we going to go? And then when we get there, right? Once we go and we meet God, um, do you think God is going to want to know? Do you think Everything you accomplish, your accolades, whether you play sports, your trophies, whether you was an actor, your Grammys, whether you're an artist, your platinum records, or, you know what I mean, even if you're a business person, do you think all, anything, and that doesn't, do you think that matters to God? Do you think God is going to ask you about all the profit you made? Do you think God is concerned about um, all your accolades and everything you accomplish, all your accomplishment? So when we see God, God won't be concerned about all our accomplishments, all our accolades, all our trophies. He's probably more not because none of that, according to the Bible, according to the word of God, none of that matters in the kingdom of heaven. And I'm here to teach what actually does matter. And when you find out what actually does matter, it will give you peace. Um, if you want to know more, um, if you like this message, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, other than that, and y'all be, that's my time. Be blessed. Have a good day. You know what I mean? Um, strive to always get better. No, nobody's perfect. Um, not even myself. I'm just a messenger sharing. I have, I'm qualified to share. And it is time to share. Y'all have a blessed day. Um, I hope, you know what I mean? Everybody here, you um, know what I mean? Get closer to God. Pray to God is a start. Um, search your soul. Strive to be the best. Y'all be blessed.